In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the new Transformers Studio Series 88 Revenge of the Fallen Sideways. I'm pretty sure you guys remember the leak where we thought Sideways was fake. Well, turns out he was not fake. He was the new guy. Painting and sculpting on this figure, pretty good. Pretty good. The why does his feet remind me of Barricade's feet? Whatever. Painting is nice, especially for Sideways' head, which is just uh, silver, but whatever. My camera's not really focusing. There we go. And then, of course, there are these uh, car parts that you move up and down. I think that's a really nice touch. Here are some wheels. Where are the other wheels? Oh, yeah. They're hidden right there. It's a nice feature to sideways. Oh, yeah. And this thing moves. This stuff articulates and everything. That's for transformation. And, of course, the back is, uh, well, plain. Except with this little thing. By the way, never seen a ball joint this big before. Usually ball joints this big would allow you to easily pop off his arm, but it kind of takes a bit of, a little bit of a fiddly effort. Oh yeah, and this figure does have quality control pro problems where his, uh, his feet aren't steady like at all. You see what I mean? Okay, there we go. Oh yeah, they finally gave us... Uh, Wrist or not wrist. We don't have wrist articulation for this guy. We have finger articulation, which I think is awesome, especially thumb articulation. But that's used for the accessory, and which we'll get to in like literally a second. Now, his little blaster cannon, which by the looks of it is a heavy repeating rifle, because usually when uh, there are these kind of uh, rails or barrels, there are um, heavy repeating blasters. Anyways, this is actually concept art which was later used in a Revenge of the Fallen video game. Now, when Studio Series added this to Sideways, some people think that, uh, some people speculate that there will be, uh, more game features for Studio Series. I myself would be pretty happy to see something like that. Let me know in the comment which, uh, game character you guys want to see in the Studio Series. Anyways, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and open up the thumb. And this tab right here is going to go right into that slot, which is in between the hand. Then it's going to tab in right there. Make sure the uh, top um, fingers are inside the gun. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to close in his uh, thumb. And I like that. I really like that. This kind of reminds me of the uh, Masterpiece MPM Bumblebee. Unfortunately, this is the only Masterpiece figure I could afford. As far as weapon storage goes, right on the backpack. Also, I'm not really sure what this little uh, peg piece is for. Anyways, let's just get down to size comparison. Starting off with his Nemesis Sideswipe, RC and Alita. I sold Chromia because of her flimsy arm cannon. Here's Barricade, so we can end this debate that Sideways is not the same mold as Barricade. Soundwave, Movie 2 Starscream, Megatron, Busted Up Megatron. Jeez, looks like he uh, lost in a K-On battle. And lastly, Grinder. So uh, he's a bit on the tiny side. Anyways, let's just get down to articulation. Ball joint at the head, ups and downs, swivel here, wing movement. Surprisingly, his shoulder is on a triple hinge if you're including the ball joint. Full rotation at the shoulder, ball joint at the elbow, which allows a bend. And a full 360. Also, there's a hinge joint for the fingers and the thumb. Next is a waist swivel. My copy has this thing where it easily uh, pops off. So yeah, sideways cuts in half. Let can move up that far. Can move back pretty far. Spread at the thighs. Knee swivel. Bend at the knee. Ball joint at the feet which allows the foot to move down and up, and the foot can also do a swivel. And yeah, that's pretty much it for articulation. Still a bit intrigued over the fact that he has more than one hinge joint for his fingers. Anyways, let's get down to transformation. So first what you might want to do is you want to spread sideways thumbs like this. Then what you're going to do is you're going to open the wheel and close it next to the panel over here. Then adjust it to the point where it looks something like this. Same goes for the other one. Then what you're going to do is you're going to open up the backpack. Adjust this little panel piece. Then what you're going to do is open up this little... Uh, his little uh, chest piece or whatever, and then close in the little uh, pieces over here. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to open up 
whatever you want to call this. And you're going to push open his chest. What you're going to do is you're going to close in his feet like that. Then what you're going to do is you're going to tab in the legs onto that peg. But I'm going to do it off camera because it's kind of hard to show on camera. Then what you're going to do is you're going to straighten the top part of the Audi. Then you're going to push the arm down and make sure this little uh, piece goes under the car. Then what you're going to do is you're going to tap this in and that'll stay right there. Then you're going to close on this and then what you're going to do is you're going to close in the top door right there. Same goes for the other one. And there you go. There you have Sideways' alternate mode. Now, I'm not sure what's the name of this car, but I know the car company is Audi. And from what I heard, Hasbro has been uh, having problems trying to uh, get the Audi symbol on the car. So uh, they never uh, they never got to slap the Audi symbol in uh, this car. Not sure what happened. I guess Audi didn't like uh, Hasbro. By the way, the painting and sculpting on this car mode is remarkable. I mean, it looks it, it almost looks exactly like the one in real life. I like how there's this little uh, hole where you can put Sideswipe's uh, little sword right there. Speaking of weapon storage, weapon storage is the same as uh, robot mode. Goes right in the back. Or this time, the butt. <laughs> and of course, the car can roll. Or in this case, sideways. Anyways, that's pretty much it for Studio Series 88 Sideways. The figure itself is really good. I just wish the feet were more sturdy. Anyways, be sure to like, leave a comment, share this with your friends, turn on post notifications, hit that big red button, all the good stuff. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it. See ya!